guys, I'm still in my pajamas. I just dropped off my daughter. Hey, grumpy. Um, it's the start of Vlogmas. Today's actually the 30th. I'm not exactly sure. I don't vlog very, very much. I might have four or five vlogs on my entire channel. It's just not my thing. Even last year, I tried to incorporate, like, Christmassy things. Like, I did a lot of, like, outfits and, um... Oh, why can't I think of it? Oh, like, gift guides, things like that. But I'm thinking I'm gonna try to really actually vlogmas this year. My life is very, very repetitive and boring, so I don't know how much of it people are really going to be interesting. So I'm definitely going to add some other things to it um, because it will get really repetitive and boring because I'm telling you, it's like Groundhog Day around here. We just do the same shit over and over. My husband goes to work. My daughter goes to school. I do part-time work. Um, so like I consider myself like a part-time stay-at-home mom, part-time employee. Um, maybe like I'll do a stay-at-home mom, part-time stay-at-home mom, part-time employee, day in the life with no little children because I don't have any little kids. I have all, I, my two oldest sisters are grown and moved out. My daughter's 16. So it's definitely a different lifestyle. Sometimes it's a little lonely and I think that here after um, Christmas and we're through the holidays, I'm going to start looking into school because I got to do something. My daughter's going to be in college in two years and I just need to get out of this house and find a full-time career. I mean, this part-time job has been very good to me. I've been doing it since 2017, but it's definitely time to do something. I have a long list of things that I really want to do. Um, I'm a dreamer and a daydreamer, and my husband, he loves it about me. Probably not because I am a big procrastinator as well. So I have a couple things that I've been looking into. Beauty school is one of them, like doing hairdressing. Um, then I was looking into the medical field, like being a medical scribe or possibly a medical assistant or even um, a, a physical therapist assistant. I think the schooling's like three years for that. And then I even considered maybe going to look into becoming a substitute teacher because around here they're so desperate for substitutes it's pathetic and I think the schooling for that is right around three or four years and maybe I'm wrong maybe that's for an actual teacher I don't know much so I'm either going to go to a trade school and do something like um hair and makeup and nails or I'm going to do actual like community college I haven't been in a school setting in 16 years so it would be exciting my little chihuahua is all bundled up he's a very snuggly grumpy boy in the morning. Are you ready for Vlogmas? I do have all my decor up. I don't know if you can see, I got my Sandy up there and some stuff up. I have both my trees up, but on Wednesday of next week, my whole family got coat, not my family, my immediate family that lives in my house. My husband, my daughter and I, knock on wood. My daughter had type A, flu type A, uh, about two weeks. Well, about a week and a half ago, she's recovering, but she still just isn't um, doing the best. But the doctor said as long as there's no symptoms, active symptoms, such as like fever, um, pretty much that was it. Then she can go back to school. I don't like the idea of her being back in school, but she was already out for almost six days, which was a lot for high school, especially a 10th grader. But she had to stay home but they excused all her absence. But my grandmother, my aunts, and um, my sister all got COVID again. Um, so we didn't go for Thanksgiving. So it was just the three of us, which was kind of sad. And I get very, do you ever get like, you don't miss, no realize how much you miss your family until you can't be with them. So like out of sight, out of mind for me. And then when I realized I couldn't see them, I was like kind of very, not depressed because I don't want to say that lightly, but almost very sad. And I had a rough week because I do like to be with my family on the holidays as much as they drive me crazy. So I ended up decorating the day after or that Saturday of Thanksgiving. I have my big tree up. Excuse my rotten couches. They're a mess for my dogs. I shouldn't say that. Excuse my couches. They're a mess. But that tree's up. I love that tree. I don't know. Sorry. My, and then I have my my family tree up there. So my sister and I will decorate that Wednesday. She should be completely recovered by then. That gives 
I believe almost two weeks, right? Maybe a day short, as long as she's not showing any symptoms. I even put my mask back on, you guys. Oof. Some lady stopped me and said, why are you wearing your mask in, in the store? Which I found very strange, but I was very polite because I don't like to be very confrontational. I just said, well, my daughter had the flu recently and a lot of people are ill again. So I just put it on to go to the grocery store because there's so many people, especially around Thanksgiving. And I just didn't want to, my husband has a big, big, big job coming up. And I just didn't want anything to happen where he had to miss any work because he has some really good opportunities coming up. So I just put my mask back on for right now. So just, you know, doing my duty and trying not to spread anything and to make sure other people stay healthy and my family stays healthy. So yes, it's the start of Vlogmas. I'm going to go get dressed and ready for the day. It's very nasty out, gloomy, but I'm trying to convince my family to do this with me. That's why it's kind of dark in here because it's gloomy, but it would be fun if they would vlog with me. Even if my husband showed you some of the things he does through the day at work, it'd be pretty cool because his job's pretty interesting. Or just what we do on the weekends. We were supposed to go to a game at Rutgers, a football game at Rutgers this weekend, but I think the weather is not going to hold out. So we're probably going to pass on that. So we might do something else. So yes, I will see you um, once I'm up and I'm moving around because it's only 7.30 in the morning. So once I'm up and about, um, I don't work today. Uh, like I said, everyone kind of was not feeling well that I know. So um, I will pick up work tomorrow and I work about 25 hours a week. So it's anywhere between four to five hours a day. But if I don't like, if I didn't work today, I'll float it to, like, Saturday or something. It's very flexible. Um, so, all right. I will see you all later. So, I have this Christmas scent. Oh, that's a, um, sweet candied apple. So, I thought I would share it with you. Walmart is putting out a lot of their Christmas scents. They have some amazing, like, peppermint, um, like, peppermint vanilla -y scents. I used, to, I used to do peppermint a lot, but it's just... Some smells are a little too sickeningly sweet for me, but if you like sweet smells, I don't know why I can't get it out. I think you'll like the peppermint, but they had the sweet candy apple, and I'm not a big apple fan, but this one was really nice. Um, it has a little more of a cinnamony smell, and it is apple, though, um, <clears throat> but I did like this one. The next time I go to Walmart, which will probably be here soon because I am going to do a big, giant grocery shop soon because I haven't shopped since way before... Thanksgiving I had bought quite a bit and it's lasted us for like three weeks because we had so much food for Thanksgiving so I haven't really touched any food that I had in my freezer really um we had a big giant ham and when it's only three of us we ate off of it for like three or four days um a lot of stuff has to get tossed now unfortunately because it's just been way I don't eat leftovers after really three or four days but I don't even know why I'm telling you all <laughs> but this is a smell for today um I've had this wax warmer. This thing is so old. That's why it looks so beat up. But it's such a good warmer. I got this for um, like a wedding gift. So 16 years ago, 17 years ago now. My, my anniversary will be in March. But we met in December. I don't remember. This is old. This is 16 or 17 years old. And it's like perfectly seasoned. As weird as that is. It's like... Obviously, I popped the scents out of it, but it's just been used so much that it just is so good. I don't know. I know that's so weird. I am looking for a Christmas warmer. I have a pumpkin one for um, Halloween and for Thanksgiving, but I definitely need to get something like a Santa Claus or I think Walmart might have a few. But yeah, this is one of their scents and my life is boring, you guys. It's really, really boring. Hi you guys, so I'm just sitting down for lunch. It's still pretty early, like 10.30. I always eat lunch kind of early because then I won't be able to eat dinner if I eat too, too late. If I and eat anything after like noon, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I won't eat dinner. I did do my makeup and I just refixed my hair with some dry shampoo. Um, I just always look so different <laughs> once I put my makeup on. I don't look as haggard, but I did a little bit of a pink well, very pink, and I probably should have blended a little more, but I just ended up making a grilled cheese. I make really good grilled cheeses. I usually do provolone instead of like American, 
but I love all different cheeses and I love putting jams in my sandwiches like like a um apricot or like an apricot and mango just jams go really good with cheese and they go really good with um grilled cheeses now I've never done like a jelly usually I do like a preserve where it's more chunky but I'm sure you could do anything you could dip it in ketchup but I did do just like a grilled cheese with provolone and I always use real butter I feel like real butter gets it a little more crispy but you could do mayo you could do margarine I know people get very feathery about things that's why I don't post recipes because good lord people get up in arms with the seasoned police but yeah I'm just having an early lunch I do have one or two Diet Cokes a day, usually just one. I know it's not good, but I just can't help myself. But this is what I wanted to show you. This is so good. Now I picked, I've been, excuse me. I've been buying this from Aldi's now since summertime. So almost six months. See all that cheese? It's good. That's only two pieces of cheese. So I bought this in Aldi's. It's street corn dip. I love street corn. I love the chili street corn. I just love it. Something about it is so delicious. So I picked this up. It's either between like $3.49 and $3.99. The price varies. When I first started buying it, it was only $2.99. Um, this is good. This is so, so good. I like it with crackers. I like it with tortilla chips. Um that's all I've eaten it so far on. I'm sure it would be good with like um, Fritos. So it's fire roasted corn cilantro, fire roasted corn cilantro, red chili spices, mayonnaise, sour cream, Monterey Jack, and two, I think, Spanish cheeses that I don't know how to say. Corja, Cor Coach, Coach, I'm not going to even embarrass myself. C O T I J A. And something else you probably can't really see it this is great it is so good and I think if you love corn dips or Spanish dips or street corn dips you're gonna love it what I love about it is it's just a tiny bit spicy now to some people there might not be any spice but it's very flavorful um, every only one time did I get one that I didn't like and I think it had a, I can eat cilantro but I think that one had like a lot of cilantro and I think that's the only reason I didn't really like it but that's just what I'm picking at today and then for dinner we're gonna have leftover um chicken pot pie I've been making chicken pot pie since my cousin gave me the recipe when my mom had a really terrible car accident so a couple years before my mom died she had a horrible car accident she was hit by an ambulance an off-duty ambulance driver it's a crazy story that you would never even in a million bajillion years believe but he almost killed my mother um she ended up winning a lawsuit because he was at fault and she was in the hospital she had a collapsed lung all kinds of crazy shit and my cousin made this chicken pot pie and before that i don't remember if i ever had chicken pot pie i'm sure i had um I begged her for the recipe and it was so simple and it's so delicious and I've been making it ever since and it always turns out perfect because I always use frozen vegetables and yesterday was the first time I used canned veggies and it was so watery it was still good I'm hoping today it kind of thickened up but can someone tell me why what would be the difference between a canned vegetable and frozen vegetable is there a difference or maybe I messed I just can't, I literally did everything the same. I even drained and rinsed the veggies, but they, I don't know, maybe they have more moisture. I always do corn peas. You can do any veggies you want, corn peas, carrots, and potato, and usually a little bit of onion. I do not like lima beans. They give it a funny taste. They don't go good in um, pot pies, in my opinion, and I don't like string beans in them. I don't know why they just always taste weird in chicken pot pies. Maybe they would go better with a turkey. It just was a little watery. It still was good and flavorful. But we like it thick. And then I made, I'm like obsessed with these cheap dinner rolls. These ones. 
it was sitting on a plate on my table. I take them out in the morning, defrost them. Then I put a towel over them, let them rise, and they take 15 minutes in the oven and they're so good. I never heard of them or never, I've heard of them, sorry. I never personally made them, my grandmother always did. So I got them for Thanksgiving and I love them. I'll keep them in the freezer. They were like three bucks for, there has to be like 30 rolls in there. So this is, I'm gonna clean the house. So I might do a little bit of clips of that. I might show you guys what I do for my laundry. I'm sorry, it's dark. It's just so rainy and gloomy, but this is just the kickoff to Vlogmas. So I'm not just gonna do all vlogging. I know that's what everybody else does. That's like usually the thing, but I'm going to incorporate other types of videos. Like um, I have a clothing haul coming up. If as soon as the clothes get here, I want to do gift guides. Um, if we go anywhere for the holiday season, my husband should might be away for work for a week next week in New York. So my sister and I are, well, I don't know if my sister, but my grandmother come, might come up and we might go shopping and she might spend the night so that would be fun um she's only slept here once and it was just a disaster i took her to get a, a cancer cut out of her face and she was deemed a full risk but they still let her leave on her own and she fell and broke her arm at the facility and it was a nightmare so it wasn't a fun trip for her so maybe we'll have a better trip so yeah i'll be back when we start cleaning but Yay, first day of Vlogmas. I'll see you soon. So you guys, I'm not gonna do like a whole Christmas tour because nothing's really changed from last year. I'll link that video um, in the cards or the description for you. But I said that this year I was not buying not one Christmas decor except one piece of my village because I do every year. This is the exact same tree, my rose gold tree. I love it. I would love to know, I think I put a poll, actually no I did. 
do you guys keep your trees on all night or do you turn them off right before bed this is my most favorite tree i've ever had it's gorgeous next year i'm going to do a different theme and then i'll interchange the rose gold with something different up here it's just a little different honey you're going to tear my sweater there's my nutcrackers and my one gingerbread my beautiful gold wreath there's a little boy and sandy and mrs claus up there is my beautiful um like two no i guess like a foot and a half ceramic tree with my angels every year my sister buys me an angel whether they're thrifted or um bought brand new this one i believe is these are brand new were bought brand new this is new i did the just quick little garland here with the bells because i didn't know what else to do with the bells i love this excuse my dirty table i'm gonna get into my kitchen here in a minute i loved this that's same as last year my little elf this my grandfather gave me it was his it's a pretty old piece i hate when he gives me stuff like this because it makes me sad because it's less that he's decorating and he's my grandfather's gotten very strange over the years he's going to be 79 this year and christmas was always holidays are very important to him but i mean i understand since my mom's passed away he's been very different but i hate when he gives away some of his pieces like this santa claus this santa claus has got to be excuse the marks there was a bookshelf here from the previous owners we're gonna this spring i think we're gonna spackle and repaint the walls just probably the same color if not a, like a little lighter this santa claus has to be the same age as me and he gave it to me last year and i said no i would not take it he needs to put it up it's always gone above their television on their um tv stand they don't have a tv stand anymore and i kept telling him i'm not taking it and he kept saying why nobody we don't really decorate and i was very upset so i i don't know why i told you that. my christmas carol is probably because it upsets me my christmas carolers this is one of my favorite buys from last year it does sing it's just an elf with santa claus and uh, two elves with santa's reading a santa list and it's a telephone like an old uh rotary phone maybe i love that it does sing two more angels from my sister i just set them there for now i have this sign here from last year and of course my five foot santa they say it's five foot he's pretty big not gonna lie i'm five four and it comes up to my chin favorite favorite purchase they have them for fifty dollars i bought them for a hundred fifty dollars right now at home depot or at least when i was there last week i love this the only thing i wish i had was something here this year i've only seen like i wish they had a mrs claus to match they may have had it last year and i missed it right now all i've seen are angels and sannies and they're only like three feet so it would look a little weird this is one of my favorite things from target my sister gave that to me it's like a charlie brown tree it does sing i thrifted that santa that's an angel she gave me another angel she gave me this manger is um older than me again another thing my grandfather gave me the snow globes one's winnie the pooh one's a dancing angel ballerina that was my daughter's a santa plate for cookies another matching angel from my sister sanny i thrifted him he does not work but i love him more than anything i paid four dollars for him and my sister and i took the glasses off a doll my daughter made this years ago this old radio is so much fun. Listen to this. You're listening to ENN or Elf News Network. It's Elf Studio News Network. It's an Elf News Network. This is from Dollar Tree. That was thrifted. This is from at home. And this snow globe my mom gave me when I was like 13. And I've had it my whole life. And it's very special. It's um, Beauty and the Beast in the winter scene from the movie. This is typically like this. This is the only thing that goes here. This is another angel my sister gave me, but I just set this beautiful one. I know these are very, very expensive, and I'm pretty sure that's from Pier 1 or from Hallmark. I'm not sure. I know those are expensive, but they're very special to me. What are you doing? What are you doing? You have no butt. You have no butt. Back there is our um, stockings. I just haven't hung them up yet till I get little command hooks. He has no butt. He never has a butt. He's a huge chihuahua. We thought we were getting a three pound chihuahua. We were very surprised, but we love him nonetheless. This was thrifted, best thrift find. I love that. 
with this matching angel favorite. I'm very into collecting gnomes right now. I love them. They are so cute with this beautiful garland. This is my other tree and my countdown to Christmas. This is my other tree. I'm just waiting till Wednesday for my sister to feel better to come do it. My sister painted me this. I gotta find a new place for it. Look at that. Is she not the most talented thing in the whole world, girl in the whole world? She painted me that. So I love garland. Sorry, I sound like I'm out of breath. Garland with lights, Christmas hats that I just stuck there, elf feet, and a shark, both from Target last year. And one last thing, and then we are done. My kitchen, this is my like village. Like I said, I have to get, sorry, I have to get one piece. Each year I buy one piece, whatever. All these little beautiful trees are from Dollar Tree. They're amazing. They just are hard to keep up. The diner, then I um, have a little mouse home, uh, Sandy's shop, Christmas carolers at a church, the nativity. Um, it says a penny toy shop. And then I have a beautiful like Victorian home, um, a little moose, and then a sleigh with wood. I love this. I can't wait to add to it. I almost bought the Home Depot home and I probably should go back and get it. It's pretty affordable. I think it would be ironic because I love Home Depot and I think it would look really cool. And I love how it glistens with the sparkly trees. I love the glitter on them. Then I have my, my favorite, favorite, favorite wreath. Isn't that gorgeous? It's berries, cinnamon, and pine uh, cones. This first vlog is probably gonna be long just because it's exciting. Or maybe I'll break it up into two days for you. Oh gosh, what is that thing? Is that a sloth? Needless to say, I think he's a sloth. My Santa Bell, my elf on the shelf stealing a bottle of wine, a little owl, which I love, and a Christmas elephant. Always buy your elephants with the trunk up. It's good luck and face it to the window. This was thrifted. I love this Santa Claus. This is a cookie jar my sister gave me. This is a beautiful wood Santa Claus, Mrs. and Mr. Claus. These both are very, very expensive angels my sister bought me. I believe they're both from Pure One. Actually, I know they are, and I know they were expensive. They're both bells. They are my prized possessions. I don't know why she buys me angels. I'm not very religious, and not that you need to be. Um, not really sure. It just happened when she was little. She always would buy me weird little things. So... I'm 10 years older and 11 years older than my two Irish twin sisters. Um, and she's always been very, very close to me. Her and I have always had a very different relationship, very special. I don't know how to explain it, but like one time she bought me a necklace with the serenity prayer and everyone kind of laughed at her because I don't think she realized the significance for people with like addiction and it. And I still have it all these years because I'm just weird like that. I keep weird things that she's bought me because... She was always little and she always just wanted her whole life. Her only goal, she says she doesn't remember, was to always just be and live with me. So these little, one day she bought me an angel and it's become a tradition every year. My Dollar Tree Christmas tree, my moose. And unfortunately this broke. I'm so sad. Does anyone know how to fix it? It's an upside down Santa cookie jar. I've had this for like five years and it broke. I broke it. I also sadly had a little tiny Snoopy. My mom bought it for me when I was like 10, a tiny little Snoopy snow globe. It had Snoopy and the little bird sitting on a dog house. And I had it my whole life and I accidentally broke it on that. I've never broken anything that was like a Christmas decoration. So I was like really kind of in the dumps because my mom bought it and when my mom passed away, my family went through a lot and I never really got to keep I don't really have anything of my mom's. It's a long story. It was never done maliciously. I just never had a chance to take anything of hers really. And then I had these beautiful middle piece, another angel from my sister, another one. And that back piece is an angel from her. I told you she just gifts me a lot of angels and these two Christmas trees. So like I said, I'm gonna try to, um, hold on, let me spin you around. I don't wanna bore you to death. So I'm gonna just show me cleaning like my living room today, nothing else, because I think it's gonna be too much of a vlog. Um, I just don't want them to be too long. I'm gonna try to keep them each around 20 minutes at the most, and that's long for a vlog, in my opinion. So, do you like my makeup today? 
just expect to definitely have a lot of animals. Um, a lot of me being for forgetful or um, losing what I was, or like being forgetful, getting off of task, getting distracted, because that's my life. I don't even know why I feel like I'm out of breath. I'm really not. So yeah, I just wanted to show you a few little things around here. Um, I should be back when something more interesting happens. Um, like I said, I don't want it to be too long, so I don't want to, I just want to maybe, maybe I'll put this in another vlog. I don't know. We'll see what happens. So I will be back shortly. Good morning, you guys. I forgot to end the vlog last night. Um, it is officially December 1st. Yes, I'm still wearing the same pajamas. I wear them one or two nights in a row. And especially these. These are my like Christmas flannels. They're super soft and warm. So I wear them a lot in the winter. Um, especially because it gets really chilly because my husband does not like the heat up. But I just hope you enjoyed yesterday's vlog. And I am on to start December 1st, technically. But you'll see it the next day, December 2nd. So I hope you are enjoying it so far. And I will see you in my next one. Make sure you remember to subscribe. And I will link all my social medias down below. I do a lot of outfit ideas, outfit of the day, and quick little makeups. Get ready with me is on my TikTok. So if that would interest you, you can definitely go check that out there. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.